What's up everyone? I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and I am currently in Indian Mountain State Park in the very northern part of Tennessee. We are basically on the Kentucky border and we are here because we are about to jump on the KAT or the Kentucky Adventure Trail and see how far we can get just to explore that. We have never been to this area before. On this trip with us we have got James in his Sahara. We've got Robert in his brand new JL Rubicon. He just put a, a nice three inch lift on it, 37 inch tires. This is its maiden voyage in this configuration. We did, we showed it in a previous video in an off-road park. Um, we have got Bryce and Danielle in their Land Rovers. Say hi Danielle. Hi. How, how much time are we gonna spend fixing your stuff? Not mine. <laughs> just Bryce's. This is going to start this morning. I heard that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are just a few miles outside of Jellico. We've hit dirt and it is already gorgeous. This area is just beautiful. I can't wait, this is gonna be an amazing day. I guess come Friday night, we're gonna have to make sure that we pick a spot where we're not under, uh, I guess preferably not under any trees. I would hate for any branches to get heavy and start falling. So we are out here running the Kentucky Adventure Trail for three full days. Today is Thursday. We've got all day today, all day Friday, all day Saturday, and then we head home Sunday morning. The weather is going to get incredibly interesting because Friday night, it's supposed to get into the mid-20s and then winter weather comes in. I think there's, there's I'm not sure, there may be winter storm warnings for this area, but we're definitely supposed to get snow on Saturday, and then Saturday night, the low is 11 degrees, which is gonna be the coldest I've ever slept in. Luckily, I have my diesel heater, so I'll be warm and cozy. The Kentucky Adventure Tour is a 900 plus mile loop that covers much of southeastern Kentucky, northern Tennessee, and a couple sections crossing into Virginia and West Virginia. The KAT is a mix of paved back roads, graded dirt roads, and some nice technical trails along the way that give you a glimpse into Appalachian culture. The scenery along the KAT is incredible, with beautiful Appalachian streams and expansive views all around. While we would only cover about one third of the KAT on this trip, we can't wait to come back to experience the rest. Well, so far we're about an hour and a half in, and I just keep being in awe of everything that we're seeing. And right now we are in northern Tennessee, where I think we'll we'll spend the whole day here. And so far it's just a rural back road. We keep coming up on little homesteads and little farms and that sort of thing. But it's just incredible. Road's getting a little more interesting.
we found this nice little campsite, but it is just trashed. It's very sad. Ew. I don't know what this is, but oh, it's a diaper. It's a freaking pull up. Ew. Ew. What size is it, man? I don't know. Title. Clean it right up. Ew. Oh, that's a diaper. It's a it's a pull up. That's just awful. People suck. What the heck else have we found? Good grief. This is horrible. Absolutely horrible. Humans disgust me sometimes. Don't be that kind of human. Do, do not do this. Look at this. That's all from the same campsite. That one, and that one. Yeah. That one. Oh wait, here's one. Hang on, here's some glass. Ah. Yeah, be careful. It's all broken. I don't understand people who do this. I don't understand it. We are 26 miles into today, about two hours, and the trail is getting good. Now come forward. Go Watch this. You see this rock here in front of you? No. You don't see it right there? Above the stick? No. Hang on. Right here. There's a rock right here. So come forward and then cut around it. Straighten up, there you go, there you go, there you go, you got it, you got it, yeah, oh, oh that worked. get my exercise today I'm gonna go down and video them on this section might have to change out of my hoodie I'm getting hot this is gonna suck walking back up there we go oh very nice very nice Heck yeah There's a rock right here. Go that way. There you go, that's about right. That's good. There you go. There you go. Now back to the passenger. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very nice. Watch that rock. Yep, 
spot that rock. Ow. Back up more. You need to go to the left of that rock. Now cut left. You go forward. There you go. There we go. I love that thing. Well, right after that hill climb, we're faced with this. There's an option to go that way. This looks a little more level, or you could come this way, which is way rutted, but. I'm coming this way. I was about to say, I think that's gonna be the better way. I may get hung on that rock though. Not if you swing, passenger. I'll guide you. I mean, that doesn't look bad, but it just looks really it's, slick. It's really muddy, right? Yeah, here. that looks potentially. And, and it's goofy. narrow right there, and yeah. they drop off. So I think this is probably the better way. I think. And I might even come all the way over here. Oh yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Come, come, yeah. come, high passenger. Yeah. And start as far passenger as you can to get up that rut. Yeah. Hard driver, whoa, hold whoa, on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold yeah, on, hold on. Off. All right, hard driver. Uh, turn passenger and back up just a little bit. You'll go right off the, the rock. That's good. That's good. Now, hard driver. There we go. Don't hit Danielle. Hard driver. 
I'll drive it. Very nice. Pretty good. Nice good plate. Very good. All right, next we've got this real narrow section that's uh it's gonna be fine but she needs to hang to the to the driver's side and then it's kind of dug out here so we want to keep brad i'm gonna try to keep this tire on this higher line instead of getting caught in that in that dugout section so let's see what happens hold that there you go all right now cut passenger but there you go perfect looking good all right a little more passenger a little more passenger Hold on, let me back up. All right, a little more passenger. Looking good. Bryce, watch that back in for me. He's good. He's way good. Okay. Very nice. Your front passenger went way in the air. Well, finally at the top of the hill, we found this great spot to stop for lunch with incredible views. And we still have a still a little more hill to go with some big rocks. So that'll be fun. This is the wildlife on the KAT. Grain pipes a lot. It's a lighter. Appalachian mole rat. <laughs> you heard I heard her feelings. Her feelings. <laughs> Plus one for the mile start. Well, if you're digging a hole, now straighten up. There you go. Much better line. I don't know what his problem was. There's a line. Huh? Your back tire, he went a little wide here, yeah. and your back tire was right there. Right there. And I was, I was so there. you were you were pinned there and pinned uh, here. 
So. I took the harder line. You did, but you didn't make it. <laughs> Good driver. Right up. There you go. Right there. Oh. Keep coming. You're good. Keep coming. You're still good. All right. Back it up a little bit. There you go. Right there. Turn into it. Come on, come on. All right, now start straightening up. Oh, come on, right there. See if you can hold it, keep coming. Ah, all right, try one more line. Stay there, come put more passenger. There you go. More passenger. There we go. There we go. Got it. Excellent. What happened to me? Stay hard, driver. There you go. Good shot there. All right, now cut back passenger just a hair. I think we got it. We can get the back to climb. There we go. There we go. You got to keep your back tire on this, otherwise you slip over in the hole. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. graded county roads right now but that section was amazing makes me wonder what uh, what else we have going on today it's nice to have the paved sections for a little break and they're just as gorgeous it's neat to see all these rural areas and how people live in this area it's uh it's quite incredible
right here, man. This is this unreal. Is nice. Really, really, really nice. Wow. It's just gorgeous here. Oh my gosh. We are currently in the Big South Fork National River and Recreation Area. And apparently we need a permit to camp in here. And we've got a sweet spot that my friend Bill at Cotty Wample Overland sent me. But unfortunately it's like, I don't know, five miles out of the way to go to the visitor center well, that was to get odd. a permit. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, this is like extremely crooked and extremely steep. <laughs> Extremely beautiful. Wow, it's gorgeous. What are we doing, Brad? Checking on camping permits. We learned we do have to have a permit for camping anywhere in this area, so. We thought it was just in the northern part, but apparently that's not the case. So we're gonna do the right thing. Do the right thing, people. Do the right thing. Ignorance is not always bliss. <laughs> Brandy Creek Visitor Center. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hey, oh my gosh, look at that. That is unreal. This is just unreal. I'm not sure what we're gonna do. There's a little, there's a gauge down there. Huh. But I think this used to be a bridge. There's another slab over there. Maybe an old road went through there. Maybe a railroad, I don't know. But I don't know if we're going to camp here or not. It's not really suitable for as many rigs as we have. My gosh, it's gorgeous. Oh, we found a spot. We've got Bryce and Danielle and Brad right up there. There's a path right down here that me and James are using that's nice and level for our tents. And then Robert setting up his hammock over there is going to be amazing. Robert's trying an alternative way of getting up here that I didn't think about. Yeah, see if you can cut through that way. Whoop, watch your head. <laughs> there you go. Got it. Yeah. This is going to be an incredible night.
good for the video. Yeah, watch your uh, watch your nuts on that one. Yeah. There you go. No one died. Yet. Yet. Brad, what's for dinner? Jambalaya. One of my favorites. It's coming along. Dude, that is homemade. Homemade. Starting from, from scratch. scratch. Yeah, ain't no box here. We got some shrimps. Shrimp going in last because they're already cooked. If I don't, don't eat them all first. It. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to overdo it. We'll hit the seasoning next. And yeah, you, uh, you're on point boil. with your seasoning. He's got a whole little case for seasoning. He didn't, he didn't play around. Man, that looks amazing. You want to get a tester? Shrimp. Yep. Sausage, chicken. Yeah. Don't eat the leaves. Good stuff. Just fiber. Just fiber. All right, let's let's try. So make sure the. Rice done. Needs a few more minutes. It's time to test. Just a rifle. I know it isn't a rifle. I might need a one more bite. Just to see. Another bite to Another make bite. sure it's ready. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I understand that. Pablo is good. Are you good? It's good. Okay, I was going to say there's, there's this a, good uh, stuff. There's a store in downtown Brandon that just opened up. <laughs> I pulled all the um, tails off the shrimp. I told Brad I almost buried them under your hammock. I thought that would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time the hammock was in my hammock. <laughs> all right, favorite part of the day? I really like those gnarly hill climbs. Um. The hill climb was unexpected and fun. Yeah, yeah. no. It was very unexpected. I had a nice couple nice technical areas. It was great. I kind of liked about in this place. I mean, that was this cool. is this coming in here was my favorite. Oh yeah, it was just and so gorgeous. It just kept getting better and better the further down you went, and and, um, and seeing the rocks and climbing up there, and I don't know, it's fun. Oh. Supper wasn't bad either. No, supper was pretty good. <laughs> Brad, what's your favorite part? Man, I, I think the. The hill climbs and stuff, but I also really like how we followed the, the river not only once but twice. I just, I don't know, I like waterfall. I'm a waterfall guy. Mm -hmm. Was all my dad jokes? Dad jokes were <laughs> special. <laughs> uh, they were just like Robin. amazing. Uh, yeah. It wasn't too much, but it was just enough. It was. It was just enough. Yeah. There was there was Absolutely. there was a lot of variety today. Absolutely. Yeah. There was a lot of variety in one day. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cinnamon sugar in your hot chocolate. It's amazing. And a little brown sugar. It'll change your life. Oh, that's good. That's real good. It's a quick and easy breakfast scramble. Heavy on the bacon. Did you have the 
heated blanket in there last night? Yeah. Did he? I did the, I did the uh, I turned it on and I forgot about it. Um, at about 12.30, I woke up sweating. Oh, really? Oh, so, yeah. So I turned it off and then uh, I cranked it up this morning at about 7 just to kind of warm everything up before I got dressed. But no, I was super comfortable. So. That's awesome. The 8 degrees Saturday night might be different. Yeah. I don't know. That's going to be wild. a brand new company called go explore usa so check that out if you are new to overlanding or want to get into this overlanding thing and unsure of, of how to do it he is going to be doing kind of guided trips i'm going to be on most of the trips i think making videos of, of the trips and it's going to be fantastic he's such a good guy and such a good such a good guide so if you are, are interested in doing kind of a guided overland trip, check out GoExploreUSA.com. Uh, he's got, he'll have a number of options through Arkansas, Kentucky, probably out to Colorado. I'm not sure where all he's planning on, on doing trips, but uh, he's, he's doing it the right way, fully permitted by the various forest services and stuff and insurance and all that good stuff. So this bridge is so cool. What did it say? Uh, winter storm warning has been issued for Scott Campbell and somewhere else starting at 0 a.m. March the 12th through 1 p.m. March the 12th. So overnight. Yeah, midnight much. tonight till tomorrow. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> gonna be cold. Whew. It's gonna storm. be a doozy. But yeah, winter storm warning coming in tonight. The it's low tonight is in the 20s. The high tomorrow doesn't get above freezing, and then the low Saturday night is, I think, in the single digits, which is just completely bonkers. So, um, today's video should be gorgeous weather, but uh, tomorrow's video <laughs> could get interesting. <laughs> so, uh, single digits will definitely be the, the coldest I have ever camped in, especially with, with snow. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's a two-layer waterfall. Oh wow, that's pretty. Maybe even three up there. Oh my gosh. bright and early this morning because I'm getting ready to meet Matt out on the Kentucky Adventure Tour. If you don't know me, my name's Rob. I have the YouTube channel Revere Overland and I live in Kentucky. Um, I spent a lot of time driving around on the Kentucky Adventure Tour, especially when I was first getting into this, but it's been a while. Uh, and one of the things about the Kentucky trails is they tend to change a lot. Like I said, it's been a while since I've been down there. Looking forward to seeing how it is. I would love to come back and spend more time here at the Big South Fork National River. It's just beautiful in here. It's a good looking tundra coming up.
<laughs> What's up? Hey, how's it going? Man, this tundra looks good. Thank you. Glad you made it. Yeah, sorry I'm a little late. You're not gonna you're not gonna camp with us overnight? No. Nope. <laughs> low of <laughs> low of twenty three to five well, inches of yeah. snow. I'm so glad Rob got to come down today and let us see his brand new tundra that thing's going to be incredible when it gets fully built out i can't wait to see it then but if you're not uh, familiar with revere overland on the youtubes go check it out he does some amazing content his drone work is possibly the best of anyone um it's it's fantastic so go check out revere overland deviating off the KAT just a little bit for a waypoint that Bill sent me called Pond Cave. So real curious about that. And then there's a spot on the map called Ella's Arch that we want to check out. According to the map, it should be right here. I don't see it. Yeah, it's to my left. You guys passed it. What? <laughs> That's it, huh? It was worth the trip. That's Ella's arch. No wonder we passed that. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was expecting something a little little grander. Found it. <laughs> yeah. You sure did. Woo! This is hysterical. <laughs> Well, I definitely see potential for a cave here. I don't see a pond though. All right, this is pretty cool. This is sweet. So Bryce is a biologist and those are salamander eggs. You can see them clumped up over there. You know what? I like the arch just because it was so ridiculous. It's a giant cluster of salamander eggs that have hatched. Oh, stomach. <laughs> Look at that stuff. This thing just keeps curving around. Look at that. Wow. That's incredible. Bryce managed to find a salamander. Yeah. Oh, you got it. What'd you get? A newt. A newt. He turned me into a newt. Spots. Red spotted newt. So what's the difference between newt and salamander? Uh, a newt is a type of salamander. Ah. Like a toad's a type of frog. We decided to go ahead and eat lunch while we were at the cave and just hung around and talked for a bit. So that's nice, but we're now back on the road and go see what we can find. As you can see, I've changed shirts again. It's uh, mid 60s and quite warm with the sun beating down. <laughs> And there's going to be a 40 degree temperature swing overnight, so it's going to be get uh, going to get quite crazy. But it should be interesting.
Look at Robert embracing that Jeep life. The terrain through here is gorgeous. I'm glad we didn't stay on the KAT. We did divert to go see that cave pond and just kept on and now we're trying to get back to it. This little connector spot is amazing. Well look at him there. That's awesome. I'm gonna go hike it. What an awesome front yard that would be. Dang, look at that property. Holy cow. That is gorgeous. We're about to reconnect to the KAT. Uh oh, water crossing. Oh. Water crossing. That didn't look too bad. Tell me if I need to wait it. Oh, man. That didn't look too bad. Yeah, I Whoa. There's the gate, I guess. Huh? Got a... Is there a gate on that side? Well, you see the guardrail? What the? There's the KAT right there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, this water crossing is doable. Oh my gosh, that sucks. There's a gate on the other side. We can't go any further. Man, that was unfortunate. That water crossing was gorgeous and we definitely could have made that. It wasn't that deep, but we are now turned around and... Well, it's a beautiful day to have to backtrack. And back That's track. right. I, I don't mind going back through all this. It was gorgeous, and I probably missed something. I'll see going back out. Yeah, I never, I never worry about out and back trails because you see something different going the opposite direction. So um, I'm not upset that we have to go back on this beautiful trail. We're back to where we veered off and are going to connect to another trail that'll put us back on the KAT. More exploring to do today. We are officially back on the KAT, and it may be paved, but oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Just paralleling that stream down there. We are back on dirt and also back in the big South Fork National River area. So back in National Park Land. This is a split bow arch. Oh. Yeah, now that's a legitimate arch. That's a little bigger than the one we saw this morning. Well, Bryce and I found a way down that was somewhat sketchy. Here's where you should have taken your shower. Uh, the steps come way over here. Huh. 
That's... I don't know how you get there. We might have to drive down further. Maybe there's a trailhead. Maybe. Uh, keep going down the road. I don't know where that trail goes, but somewhere I think you can get down. Okay. That's, uh, that's pretty tight. Are you going to come out that way? The question is, can we get back up here? Yeah, I can't get back up right there. I'm, the I'm just going to walk the arch. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That one wasn't stout enough for me. That was the that one just snapped. <laughs> I mean if you had died I would have got it on camera. That's cool. James and Brad, right up there, there's Rob. Steps are steep. Hiking trail continues that way. That's yeah. where the trailhead is? Yeah. I like our version better. Yep. Alright, this is promising. Get a little flexy right here. All right, this is some crazy rutted stuff. Well, you're definitely not going to turn over. I think you just need to come straight. There you go. Start out slowly and see if uh, it kicks in. Turn back this way. There you go. Come on. Oh. So close. Let's pull your cable real quick. Whoa, start cutting back passenger. Start cutting back passenger. Passenger. There you go. You'll come back down. You're not going to flop. I know. Whoa. Uh, straight up. Got 
Come on. It is my turn, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. Uh, you know, bigger truck, no flex at all, and worst of all, I have no front recovery points and no winch. So I kinda need to make it. You were so close to that wall on the other side. Mass. There you go. Wow. Yeah, Mirrors are in. Don't lose your momentum. Get some. Get Come some. On. Rear locker. Come on, rear locker. Where's James with that radio? Come on. Come on. Woo! Woo! I'm talking about. There we go. No problem. Other passenger. Other passenger. passenger. There you go. There you go. Come on. Keep going. Passenger. 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 Oh my gosh. 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 Like, what do I do? There you go, there you go. Come on, try it again. Oh. You got off the wall. This is, uh, this is, this is where mud terrains make a huge difference. Why'd you let him get all terrains, Daniel? Nope. Pull it. <laughs> You're not gonna let him with that down, are you? Well, uh, nice. You'll be nice about it though. Um, we have a. Anyway, you got soft shackle. Danielle, soft shackle. Shame. Go um, in between this little tree here, James. This one? No, right there. There you go. Just like that. Big tire lift. You had a big tire lift there. Water day. Tell James to quit trying to drive up the hill. See if James lifts the tire. Nope, he did not. Good job, James. Well, that was a whole lot of fun. Let's see what else we can find. Who put this tree here? After most of the day on pavement, this is a this is a nice one. Whew, it's stuck in these ruts and you can't go anywhere. <laughs> Brad's stuck.
I just realized something. I didn't disconnect my sway bars coming up that hill. That explains a lot. It is 5.20 p.m. and we are highly motivated to make it to camp before dark. And I think there's a decent chance of that if we can maintain this pace. But right now we're just booking it down this gravel road and seeing how fast we can get there. There's not really any place to stop and film anyway, but it is quite beautiful. I'm a little nervous about just the weight of the snow on the tent. I've never been in that situation before because we could get as much as six inches of snow. So that, uh, that should be interesting. But it, it would be really incredible to wake up to six inches of snow everywhere. Well, this got real pretty. The stream down there, gorgeous. We did, and there's actually some wood here already. My damn, is it just off the right or left of the road? I see headlights right now, so it's off to your right, right at that brown sign. Uh -huh. Slow down that, hang a right. Gotcha. Oh, wow, this is real nice. Okay. Cool. It's a beautiful spot. A really nice campsite. I mean, they got the pads and all that. And we're completely open to the sky, so there's not much chance of limbs breaking off and crashing on our tent from the possible snow accumulations tonight, which would be really nice. We're expecting six inches of snow tonight and Robert is still gonna sleep in his hammock. He is die hard. Yep. <laughs> we got a uh, fire going over here. I think for Dutch <laughs> oven, cause Danielle is cooking stew for dinner tonight. They are parked side by side so that they can share Bryce's diesel heater. And Rob is unfortunately going home. As you can see, his tundra is completely stripped down. He's working on a whole bed system and a rear seat delete system. So he's got it stripped down to prepare for that. So when he gets that going, that's gonna be awesome. They said dinner was ready. There is the stew. Oh my gosh, that looks great. Mm -hmm. It said in the morning Angry there'll snow. be 25 <laughs> to 35 mile per hour winds. That's not too bad. In addition to making the stew, Danielle made us. Hold on, you'll see it in a second. 
Dun dun dun. Peach cobbler. Oh, that was great. Ooh, that's sizzling. Good morning. Since 11 p.m., it has it started with sleet, then transitioned to snow, and it has been snowing non-stop. So I am anxious to see what is right outside this tent. Still snowing. Let's get rid of this. I get my shoes. Our campfire is completely covered. All oh, these shoes are cold. Oh no! Oh, that was bad. It is nice and warm in the tent for my diesel heater. Let's go look around. Whew. Wow, look at that. Robert slept in his hammock last night. I wonder if he's still alive in there. All right, let's see. We're going to go right in the middle of James's hood. Whoa, oh, oh, wait, I went too far. That's That was farther than the tape measure I had laid out. Was it? Yeah, which was about eight inches. All right, here we go. Here we go. Seven and a half inches of snow. Are you serious? Seven and a half inches. Nice. Whew. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's still coming down hard. Yeah, pretty hard. Thick, big flakes.
What's that say? The campfire dead out. Dead out. I think our campfire is very dead. James was kind enough to cook breakfast for us. Now he's got cleanup duty. But I'm about to start tackling your tent, so oh, all right. I'll try to help up. I'll try to help I with that. I think everything on the inside is out. I think. Well, I just gonna work on the outside. Oh. Okay. epic and amazing and I'm really really happy it snowed and really happy I came on this trip this is absolutely epic like I have never experienced wheeling and camping in snow like this and it is just incredible I'm I'm so happy right now this is gonna be an amazing day I see sunshine coming out. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't know how well that's coming on camera, but the sun hitting those limbs are gorgeous. Whoa. That was a sketchy bridge. That's real <laughs> sketchy. That's like crazy sketchy. I'm <laughs> pretty sure he wouldn't have. Oh. Let's see, we got rocks, trees. Man, this is long. <laughs> that hill climb was awesome. That was so much fun and so cool. And my drive shaft didn't didn't fail. It's close, but it didn't. I'm going to get that fixed when I get back.
Robert's gonna give this a go. I don't know why. Whoa. Huh? Not deep. He's sinking. Okay. Rice, you want to pull him out? Oh um, my. Just tug him back. Let's just tug him backwards. Yeah. Stay in there. Those are the slickest BFG KM3s <laughs> I've ever seen. Look like racing slicks. I don't need no pull. Robert managed to self recover. Good job. Anything, any water in your floorboard? Any water in your floorboard? I mean, just from the this in your feet. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Oh my god! Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> oh. 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 Right now, it would just freeze up under there. That's gross. This is why I hate mud. I might have slightly egged him into doing that. Maybe slightly encouraged him. I think he did too. That's what we're going to go with. He did offer. Well, that's better than a hard side and a harder side. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. This will be fine. I just can't see over my dash, and I saw this rock, and I'm like, that thing just dropped right off. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go down that side, but the big boys may want to go down this side. I mean, it can get pretty slippery and yeah. tippy through here. How big a drop is that? Um, three feet. Pretty substantial. to drop. Go. 
stopping right now. You're down. Rear passengers coming down. There. Wait. Yep, his brakes are doing the same thing. Stay to the driver's side and cut passenger once you get down this ledge here in the middle. Sounds like a whale mating call. Alright, watch me good. My, my brake not very good right now. <laughs> Mine weren't either. About to drop on this side. Just hold that. Just drop him. There you go. Drop it. Oh. Bryce, go ahead and come on. Start cutting back passenger. I'm gonna bring you down the way I did. Start coming toward me. All right, come toward me. Aim at me. Turn more passenger. There you go. More passenger. More passenger. One more. Right there. All right, slowly, about to start coming down the front. Slowly. Very good. All right, coming down the rear. Just tap the rear bumper.
that whole last trail system up in the mountains was absolutely gorgeous and has pretty much made my made this whole trip for me uh that was that was special and we're just we're back on uh just paved county roads now and cruising along till we get back in the national forest again it's uh two o'clock in the afternoon so we still got plenty of daylight left before we need to worry about camp in the afternoon we're back on pavement again we're kind of jumping on and off for a little bit oh one thing that I have noticed on the KAT so far it's really hard to find campsites like like really hard like in the Ozark National Forest and even the Washita National Forest in Arkansas I mean, there's campsites everywhere but in the Daniel Boone National Forest, I, I mean, we, we found the ones last night, thanks to thanks to my friend Bill. I don't know, if you don't know where the campsites are, I honestly don't know what you do. I guess stay in some of the, the private campgrounds that we've seen along the way. Like we just passed Holly Bay Recreation Area, so I mean, we could have paid to camp there. But as far as primitive campsites go, I don't know. We've got one marked on the map that uh, that Bill sent me. Thank goodness. Thank you, Bill. Bill, if you're watching this, thank you for the campsite suggestions. They have been a lifesaver. I mean, there's like legit 100 miles between camps that we've had. But we're, we're pressing on. Don't have a clue what we're going to find. Don't know how long we're going to be on pavement. So, we'll see. Well, after examining the map and the terrain here, that looks like a, a bypass that someone built in, but it looks pretty obvious that the, the actual trail turns here and then goes over there. You can see definite two track that way coming to the water. So that's the route we're going. in the water there Ooh. well we made it
we're very close to the campsite that Bill sent me. It's only four o'clock in the afternoon. 4166, Matt, is that the road number? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So we're gonna go check it out. I don't know if we'll stay there or not. If we don't stay there, I have no idea where we'll camp. Because it's not like there's campsites everywhere. All right, right turn, guys. Let's go see what we got. Well, after investigation, according to the pin that was sent to me, I think this little clearing right here is the campsite, and there's just no way we can fit six vehicles in this spot. This trail looks awesome, but uh, we could not tell where it goes, and I was not confident that if we got down there, we could turn our vehicles around if... Uh, if we needed to so we are we're gonna turn around and go try to find our own camp there's a uh, not many options that we've seen so far on the kat so this part should get interesting we're gonna we're gonna go see what we can find if we can find anything we may end up sleeping in a parking lot or something we don't know <laughs> that's part of the adventure well it's 4 30 our goal now is just to boogie down the trail we're on just a graded forest service road now and see how far we can get see what we can find if we uh, get to any technical sections we'll have fun and then we'll just make the best of it I can drop in there and check it out if you like there's private property on my map okay Does it cut back to the right? See that right? See on the other side of that bush pile? Go over the over the island? Like over this and then cut back to the right maybe? Okay. So gorgeous, but man, it's too bad we can't camp here. Do we go up and over this or do we go through? We we go right through here. Okay, it's not good. And then around and then just don't cut that angle over there by those trees too okay. too much because that looks like it gets deep.
that was perhaps the most beautiful stream crossing I have ever encountered. If not, it's it's top two, top three for sure. But that's pretty incredible. Still no place to camp though. But still have fun. finished with the water crossings at least as far as what the map says I-75 is not too far away and still no campsite so many beautiful places but no place to no place to park which, which trail are you doing the 300 or the thousand thousand yeah well tonight we've yeah, we've yeah, done about 300 together, we've though. done about 300 plus miles of it Yep. And tomorrow we wake up and we go home. Yeah. Well, cool. So we had we didn't get uh, didn't get all of it. All of it. Bryce and I have already paid. So I'll do. That's that leaves the three of us. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, thanks, buddy. That's uh, the three. That's the forty-five. You can have five dollars tip. Okay. We, we appreciate you coming down and and, and being open. <laughs> all right, cool. Let's see. Well, we have managed to find this campground just short of i-75 the rock crassel riverside and the owner was nice enough to come down and let us let us pick our spot so we're at camp it's uh it's not bad it's not bad at all this will do we pretty much got the whole place to ourselves so but uh somehow me and Robert and James volunteered to cook dinner on the coldest night of the trip. Yeah. <laughs> and it's stupid cold. It's like low 20s. It's going to get down to 14 tonight. So he's uh, trying we to... We hope it just gets down to 14. Yeah, we were code 8 at one time. That's true. And Robert's trying to, to dethaw the shrimp. And uh, I'm not sure how it's going to work out. But we're, we're making fajitas. So it should be fairly quick and easy. All right, James is in charge of the steak and the shrimp and I'm doing veggies and the chicken. The sun's going down and it's stupid cold and we're hungry it's been very cold. and the faster we cook this the quicker we get over to that fire. All right chicken's done, veggies are done, guacamole's, guacamole's done. done, shrimp's about done, steak's done. Shrimp is almost done. Some of this steak is a little more uh, medium. We are so cold at getting just so close to the fire. Yeah. <laughs> we are packing like it we're in here. Our food while we're eating. It. Yeah, Bryce is warming his tortilla. <laughs> Fiery fajitas. Mm -hmm. Brad, thank you so much for inviting us on this trip. Thank you for coming. I think your your Go Explore USA is going to be incredible. Thank you. I hope so. Um, if this is the if this is the foundation for for it, you you got something amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, it is a very brisk 14 degrees outside and airing up and putting everything away was was painful but um, stayed crazy warm I actually got hot in my tent last night thanks to my my Yona diesel heater uh, that thing is is amazing but uh, unfortunately it's time to go home we spent three days on the Kentucky Adventure Trail and we didn't even cover a third of it. This thing is massive, and what what we saw was just 
beautiful. A really nice mix of, of some technical spots and some gravel roads that are beautiful and some paved highways and stuff. It's If you've never done the KAT, I would put it on your list. It is fantastic. Finding campsites is really hard though. Finding campsites is a royal pain in the butt. So just know that going into it. This, this campsite that we stayed in last night was, was awesome. I mean, we had it all to ourselves. It was quiet. It was great. No, no complaints here. But time to go home. I've got about a nine hour drive ahead of me. But thanks so much for watching. If you would like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Uh, check out our Patreon if you want to consider supporting us in a tangible way. Uh, all of what we covered, the parts that we deviated off the KAT, some of the things that we saw, the campsites that we stayed at are all marked um, and available to our Patreon subscribers. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye.